uh, true life story blog is I hate when you have to fake with people. Like sometimes you fake or other people fake that they like you, but yet they talk behind your back, behind your, you know, with other people and stuff like that, or they're frustrated at you, or they don't really like you, but they pretend to. I hate that so much. And it's really sad, but that's actually family nowadays. That's just, that's even family. That's not even friends or a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's a family. And it's like, they're not close. It's incredible how no families are close anymore. Especially mine. Mine's all pretty much dead. And the few ones I have left, we're just, we try to be close. And then we always separate again. And then all I count is my mom and my two kids. And my boyfriend most of the time. But yeah, once we fight, we almost always break up every time we fight because it gets that bad because he's stubborn and I'm stubborn so it turns to be really bad when we fight and I'm like <laughs> it's pretty bad <laughs> because it's like oh but yeah I was um but definitely the type of man that never lets me have my way at least even once like never just says yes to me once most of the time it's always a no so ever since I met him that's what's been so difficult I was hoping to be like in love with somebody, then be my best friend, have confidence in them, then be comfortable with their phone around me. Like whoever they text, they wouldn't care if I seen because they're not cheating. Him, I still can't trust most of the time because he was raised that way, that they, they raised that cheating is okay, I guess, which my son's not gonna be raised that way at all. That's why I'm, I'm not going to die because I'm like, <laughs> I rebel to die but without raising my kids. So they know what to do and what not to do. I'm serious. I'm like, no, you were raised one way, but that doesn't mean our kids are going to be raised that way at all. Like, my gosh. Like, cheating is bad. If you have a girlfriend, then break up with her. If you want to go out and have more fun, then leave first. That's what I would teach my son. You leave first, son, okay? Because I, I don't care how old he is. I would still spit my son's ass if he cheats. It's like cheating bad, okay? It's like you just don't do that. There's a difference between whores. And even the Bible says there's a difference in Proverbs 31 woman. There's a difference between a good woman in Proverbs 31 that will be your best friend. That will cook for you and help you and clean with you. And men don't need to be lazy asses too. They can clean and cook too. I hate that about men. They're just like, well, it's a woman's job. And well, you do everything. I worked all day. But it's like, yeah, but also a woman could be tired too. Just because you worked eight hours too. She's tired too. Her job never ends. Uh, taking care of two children to keep them alive, to make sure they don't die and fed and change their eight million diapers. Uh, yeah, that's a job too, honey. It's like, that's just not sitting on her ass drinking strawberry daiquiris all day being a mom a stay-at-home mom is some tough shit too that's what i don't like that people disrespect that I'm just like oh okay you just sit there all day anyways all right now i do i am 36 weeks pregnant i could barely breathe i could barely sleep i get sickly already i can't even eat sometimes again already because i'm almost about to burst i'm like obviously i am preggers right now but yeah so that so that's what i mean but we're, we're working on a relationship we'll get there i think i always ask god okay god if we were if we, we have to work this out me and him have to talk more and whatnot and we both need change but in a good way and whatnot me and my if me and my partner learn to communicate better and whatnot and not fight and get stubborn we would do so much better but we always get stubborn and it turns into absolute chaos. <laughs> but, um, they do love him. We're doing okay. We hang in there. We just need to learn. We need to go levels up. Levels up on trust. Levels up on communicating to each other only. It's like, I never tell my mom our problems because she would probably just be like, okay, daughter, if you want to, you can move with me. I'd be like, yeah, it's pretty bad sometimes. But, uh, you know, because she just loves me and wants me and the kids happy is all. <laughs> And I am most of the time, but other times I'm not, you know. Because I'm just like, it's difficult. But like I said, it's getting better. I'm just so happy that, number one, we got fireworks for my kid this July. And number two, we got to actually run to the fair real fast. 
that's all I wanted this month. Now I'm happy. Now the only thing I want after that is just buying my daughter's breast pump for myself, of course, to feed my daughter because here she comes. Because then my mind would just be so relaxed and lactation cookies I need and um, pads, etc., etc. Because I'm like, well, obviously, because she's coming, I have 25 days and my daughter feels like she might come early. So I just love, I love organization. I have OCD over it and that's just the person I am. I love having things done with. Like if I, I love planning a trip, like if I'm going to have a vacation, like two months away, I love that because then I got to write the whole list down. I got to have it organized, my suitcase ready, like three months and three weeks in advance, my suitcase will be done and ready already. So I can't stand last minute things. My OCD can't handle that. It's like, let's go on a vacation last minute or let's do this last minute. It's like this last minute. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. It's like, yay. It's like, I love organization. I can't stand not organization. It kills me. But yeah, so in my life, I was hoping to have close in-laws, a close tight family, and everybody love each other. And it'd be like one big family of we can have barbecues and get togethers and parties. But it turned out in my lifetime, again, of course, because I'm always jinxed and blah, 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 that it's not that way that I got to have separate parties for my kids because they don't hate each other, my in-laws and stuff, and my mother and my family, but it's just we none of us get along. We're all different personalities, different choices, and then it just starts arguments and disagreements. So I'm like, great. It's not what I wanted at all. It really sucks. So that's why someday I can't wait to just live with my mom while my husband's at work, you know, and then, he, well, he, obviously he lived with us. So him and my mom, my two kids, and obviously her either have like a side home or live underneath, which like if we move to like Missouri or Tennessee, you, they usually have basements and then it'd be nice, a nice big room for my mom. Cause that'd be goals because I'd be like, well, at least that makes me happy because no separate parties and stuff like that for my kids and yeah, my in-laws and stuff and two different families, you know, this family and that family. So it's just really difficult. It's not what I want it, but it is what it is. Like I said, we clash because especially me being the mom, I'm like, everything should be my choice for my kids. And then of course my partner. I'm like, yeah, obviously, duh. But like, at the but like, the little things are so easy for like moms and men and men should just be like, oh, I don't care what you do, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. But like mine, I happen to have a stubborn boyfriend and father to our children, so we fight about the smallest things, like cutting our son's hair. We literally we were almost gonna break up over that. I'm not even kidding. And that's really depressing. If a marriage counselor was like, you were gonna break up over cutting your son's hair, it's like, yeah. We really were because I'm like, it is my choice. I don't want to yet. He could be bold like his dad as a teenager and all the way up, etc. Cool. But right now I love his curls. We're not even in the heat. And then here comes my daughter, my newborn. So we're definitely not going to be in the heat anyways. I just love his curls and his hair makes me happy. And then everybody else has to have a freaking opinion. I almost cussed right now. Cut his hair, cut his hair. And it's like, well, it's a good thing he's not your son. It's not your choice. Your opinion doesn't matter. You already had your kids. This is not your kid. This is my kid and my kid I choose. No, not yet. And me and his dad almost broke up over that because it's like, I don't understand why you just can't just be like, who cares? It's like, you're a man. Who cares, baby, if you shaved or bald right now like you want or has curls? It's like, my goodness, usually men don't care about the small things like that, like small shit like that. But you do, and it's like, it causes chaos. That causes a massive, massive argument for nothing. Just like I told him not to buy a brand new dirt bike that he's paying $300 a month on, and now it's inflation, so we're broke even more and poor, and then he yells at me over storage for $200. I get rid of storage and put it in a shed out here, and then he gets mad at me and wants me to get rid of more stuff, and it's like, get rid of your dirt bike first. Get rid of your dirt bike and then I'll get rid of more stuff. Like, I don't understand why you don't respect my stuff and I respect yours. You like writing. It's your stressed fun thing. I love my books. I love reading. That's my thing. I love VHSs because that was what I grew up with. And I still have a TV that plays them. And I would love, I know it's so hard nowadays to find a VHS, you know, 
when somebody else is selling one and stuff. And I'm like, I don't understand why my partner makes it so difficult. It's like he's like the girl sometimes of the relationship. I'm like, you've always said that I start arguments and you usually do now all the arguments. Cause it's like, why are you making this so difficult that it needs to be? Why can't you just respect that? It's like, okay, if you want to keep these books, then forget it, freak it. Okay, cool. We'll just pack them, leave them, and then read them, see which ones you want, and then that's it. And we'll take them when we move. It's that damn simple being a man. I don't understand why we have to fight over it. He gets me mad. I am pregnant and I get pissed off and I hate him and I want to break up with him. And then it's like, why do you do this? You can make it so simple as my partner just to shut the hell up just not to be like controlling so you can't always get your way just like i can't always get my way that's a relationship just say okay it's that simple and i'm like there's no problem there's no fuse there's no bomb gonna blow up because you know it's just like okay then if that's what you want then okay how freaking simple is that like so simple but uh, of course no Life has to be so difficult and you gotta still like have a massive like 